All right, let's do it. Uh, what's <laughs> up, y'all? Uh, I'm Lawrence Deloach. I'm one of the hosts of uh, Sup Podcast. This is episode 109. And uh, to my right in Zoom, I got Christine. <laughs> what up? To my diagonal right, I got fucking Luke Trovisi. What's up, everybody? I'm back. <laughs> and right underneath me, I don't know if, if this is the same on y'all, but right underneath me, we got our special guest, uh, Rob Hayes, who's back in the building. What's up, Rob? What up? Just switched the gallery view, so I knew what you was talking about. Like, Me too. Y'all <laughs> but I had in the wrong view setting, you know what I'm saying? Young nah, Babe nah, Ty nah. back in the building. Come on, man. With a Happy to have you back. I'm, I'm bummed that I didn't get a bait mask, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> like, like when all this was going down, it was like time to mask up. It was like, oh man, like that's that's one of the things that I wanted to get. The the mask flex after this is all done is going to be crazy because everybody's making masks now. Like literally, I can't tell you who I'm helping make some masks, but I got a couple people I'm making masks for that are nuts. Come on, man. I saw the NBA nice. store had uh, they were selling masks, uh, team logo masks now too. So everyone getting into it yo that's how nasty this shit is though it's because like all right so if you a company and you want to use an nba logo right you got to go to the nba and go like all right we'll pay you and give you royalties so like mm-hmm. somebody who has like makes masks was like all right we have to go to the nba to get a- those are licensed covid19 masks you know how crazy yes. that is but think about yes. how much they lose them they lose in a lot they lose i don't know a right lot. Ticket sales, and ain't no ticket sales, ain't no games. Oh, ain't no, yeah, okay. Like, they losing a lot. So they like, yo, all right, we not going to have no championship shirts, but we going to have these masks. You know what I'm saying? No matter what yeah. team you with, like, the season, we don't know what's going to happen to them. They all just took a pay cut, too, yeah. right? Yeah, they, uh, everybody, pay- everybody but people with the locked up contracts. Like, KD didn't get pay cut and LeBron didn't get pay cut. Damn, that's mm. so crazy. Well, are you talking about are you talking about the staff and employees or are you talking about the actual players? I read that the players took like a twenty five percent cut. It depends on it depends on your contract. Okay. That makes sense. I'm sorry. Yeah. What's up, guys, I'm sorry you guys were I, I either it was my it was my connection, but I didn't hear you. So Oh, no, we were just talking about how the the players that apparently if they're not in contract or locking contract, uh, they're getting 25% pay cut. Or at least it's what I read. Yeah. No, but you're right. You know, you bring up a good point, Rob. They are losing a lot of money. So I guess it is sort of necessary in order to keep shit afloat to license the mass shit. It is kind of nasty, though, man. Just like, all right, you can can use the logo, but you got – because those contracts are expensive, bro. Yeah. They're a lot of money. But it's people with a lot of money who got to figure out how to make money. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, it's people. And I feel like if you mess with, if you really a fan of your team, you're going to get your teams mad. If you really a That's, fan of your yeah. brand, you're going to get their brands mad. You know what I'm saying? If you really yeah. a fan of something, you're going to get their mad. How much was that diamond mask? Mm, maybe... Maybe on the on the dub side. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. See, it's a lot but for a mask. Like, but like on the standard issue tees, they had like three for fifteen. Oh, really? Mm. Yeah. They like mm. kind of comfortable. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, I'm I'm copping masks. I don't know how long it's gonna last. You know what I'm saying? I got bandanas on deck. Got mask on deck. Like I'm ready. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So wait, Rob. Like the... The... Oh no, you can go, Al. No, go ahead, Chris. Go ahead. No, I was just saying, Rob, because we haven't spoken to you in a while, and I know, um, you know, now you like all famous and shit, running around doing some TV shows and all this other stuff. Like, so what have you been kind of keeping up with as far as the last time we talked to you? What do you mean, keeping up with? Just like, wh- what are you buying now? Like, what, anything that we missed since we last talked to you that you got? Like, you know, you obviously flexed on us with the diamond mask and shit, you know what I mean? Um, the last thing I got was that uh, I got some stuff from the ALD uniforms like right before all hell broke loose and then I got the uh the eight twenty sevens. The crazy Okay. Yeah. Okay. But like don't know yeah. when I'm gonna wear them. You know what I'm saying? Don't know if it's just gonna be at the grocery store just, you know, hey, or if I'm just gonna chill and wait till we can go back outside, you know? Sometimes now, you just gotta you, flex on grandma. Are you buying anything 
during the pandemic or have you have you are you planning on purchasing <laughs> <laughs> let's get down to the meat and potatoes i want some of them them uh fake dior joints you want the fake ones yeah the fearless ones i seen them and i was like oh yeah i could do that yeah why not wait, the, world, like... the world is ending why like why not well, wait, wait, hold on, because there's there's different ones. There's like the Zoom ones, which were kind of like supposed to kind of look like them. There was like the lower tier, just gray ones, or there's the actual fakes. Like, which one are you talking about? I'm talking about they was like they had the box on all the websites, and they was like, "Be careful, the fakes is out." And I was like, "Where did y'all get those?" <laughs> <laughs> I want Man, them. You're, you're not talking about Zoom racer ones. You're talking about the actual fake deals. I'm talking about. Dior Jordan ones that don't come from Nike or Dior. They come oh. from somebody else. I'm talking about box got wrinkles in places where it don't open. You know what I'm saying? The mm. folds ain't here. The folds somewhere in the middle somehow. I don't know who karate chopped the box. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't know who elbow dropped that box, but you know the the box don't got corners no more. That's what I'm talking about. Well, I'm gonna try to find an image of this while we. Well, I think I got it. Why not? Do you? Why not? You know how dumb you look in a pandemic getting two thousand dollars shoes. <laughs> Is it these? Yeah, that's true. Come on, man. Wow, look at the yellow in the pattern. Come on, why not? Why, <laughs> why not? What's, <laughs> the, what's somebody going to do? Call, call you out? Hey, man, I need my six feet. <laughs> Wait, well, they're not say- even. They're not even supposed to be that close to me. You know what I'm saying? You're not even supposed to be that close. Back up. Yeah. So wait, where's, where's the stock box? alert, guys? I haven't seen the box yet. Hold on. I'm that's right. just my like generalization of all fake boxes. Like that that wasn't specific to this. Oh, oh, okay. Don't oh, okay. act like y'all ain't never now y'all ain't never even seen a fake box. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I didn't say y'all have, have fakes, five. but y'all have, <laughs> y'all have seen a questionable box before in your life. Somehow fake boxes have like nine sides. I don't know how they do it. <laughs> Come on, man. They can't even get the little the little tag in the corner. You know what I'm saying? For some reason, yeah. that'd be the hardest part. It's like, oh, if you work at a fake factory, you can't focus. <laughs> <laughs> that tag be all off the side. <laughs> Something be going on with the like. It's just put a corner in a corner. It's real easy, but nah, they <laughs> they got something going on. I, 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 think, I think L's been asking about the about people what people are doing with their money because uh, he's been thinking about buying something. What he's been thinking yeah, about buying. I, I've been I've been thinking about getting strange loves, but I mean I don't know, man. I I, I think about yo, you know, just do it. <laughs> <laughs> it was the, the, well, in our profession, we don't know when things will straighten out. So even if you guapped up right now, you don't know how long you're gonna have to last. There like you go. Nerves where you know stuff's gonna come from how long people gonna watch people at home on a mic you know what i'm saying mm-hmm, like mm-hmm. there's so much uncertainty that you know it sucks because anything new them prices is going nowhere like anything mm-hmm. that came out recently like them things is not moving but anything old like it's like all right we hip to y'all y'all ain't just about to you know you ain't better mm-hmm. you know what the dunks off nobody easily you know <laughs> but at the same time I'm worried that, like, whoever cops the most stuff, they gonna get raided or something. Like, somebody gonna come through and, you know, like, like if it get real crazy, it's gonna be like a safety hazard, you know? Yeah. Oh, you think you, you think you think people are gonna like rob people's houses and shit? Like, yeah. people gonna fuck? You think? I don't yeah. know, man. Yeah, if it gets down to it, it's like, man, you know what I'm saying? I got this dude SBs. Who got the toilet paper now? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The, the L train vintage by my crib. Every time I walk by it, I'm like, I could just throw a rock at this and walk in. Yeah, yeah, That's it's true. some spots in Brooklyn that got all that all that glass, all the windows, and it's like, you know, I wonder if that when they're gonna start boarding stuff up. Well, you see what some of the high what some of the high end stores did, like Louis Vuitton and Gucci, like they boarded their stores up, like straight up. Yeah, they doors. know they know what the deal is. And I have friends <laughs> still plotting on them. My friends are still like, ooh, what? I think we could get in. <laughs> well, th- this does bring up a really good point, like you said. Uh, at what point, you know, I mean, I-, I hope things don't get that bad where people are just going to start rioting uh, stores, like like sneaker stores and clothing stores. But, uh, Rob, that did go through my mind at one point. It's like, 
you know, at what point will people start just trying to run into someone's home and taking whatever they can out of someone's crib? Well, yeah, do that puddle picking your Yeezys if you want to. You know what I'm saying? Like, do that. Yeah, show everybody your off whites on the gram if you want to. And you home all the time. Everybody knows, you know, eventually they're going to mm-hmm. figure out where you live. That's and true. Figure mm-hmm. out where That's that puddle true. is. <clears throat> Well, I think a lot, and also that brings up even a bigger point uh, right now with the pandemic where uh, people were really upset about celebrities being tone deaf to what's going on. So you'll still see celebrities flashing, you know, uh, in their mansions and, you know, like new sneakers and like you, like Kylie Jenner, like she posted, like, I want everyone to be safe. But meanwhile, she's wearing the Dior Jordan. So it kind of makes people realize like, you know, celebrities, you know, they're unfortunately, you know, they have to kind of watch what they do right now as well in terms of what they're putting out to the public. Yeah, no, yeah. that's for real. I mean, it has nothing to do with sneakers, but like I saw a bunch of people like rating Drake's child. Rate rating? Yeah, Rate, okay. like like I was like, all right, okay, I, you, uh, I, you you all the way switch the subject. Yes, I was no, gonna say, but, we were talking about we were talking about celebrities and sneakers. He's talking about no, no, no. But it, it's just no, I was gonna bring up this off. picture. We were gonna have a good time, but no, you yeah. want to talk about rating no, no, children no, 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 again? No, because no. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, like, yeah, I'm sorry, like, Rob. He's not usually like this anymore. We <laughs> fixed shut the leg. He still is. He still is. <laughs> no, just right. it just talks about like the parallels to what uh, Lawrence was saying about like they're they're kind of insensitive to what they're like he shouldn't have done this when everybody's at the computer on the, like on the internet you know what I mean the same way Kylie shouldn't have been trying to flex those ones in front of us you're He's telling me you're telling me a man a man kid. posting his kid for the first time is insensitive compared to someone no I'm just saying they're both, they're both not thinking so oh, okay man. so hold on now Chris no 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 I think you're gonna this Chris I think you're a little wrong I'm not once again I think him posting his kid is is completely different than someone posting a pair of sneakers telling everyone to be safe. I'm, like it's I'm just two saying different things. Celebrities plus, are just not thinking in general about what they're putting out on the internet. Plus, you gotta post a kid before you put out a Tusi slide because if we see you with that kid after the Tusi slide comes out, we're gonna think, oh, okay, why are you dancing like Michael Jackson? You know what I'm saying? So he had to <laughs> show us like this is my son. You know what I mean? Yeah, nah, nah. I mean that that also put you know that also keeps his name out there. You know, it's like. Oh man, Drake show you know his show his kid. It's the first picture of his kid, but Kylie Jenner wearing a, a pair of sneakers that the public won't even get in front of her, in her mansion, telling everyone to be safe in a time where people are dying, people can't afford food. That's when you kind of look at things a little it's more like despicable. That. I'm about to get yeah. these fakes, dog. I'm about to do the same thing. Y'all gonna see me? Y'all gonna know? I'm gonna tell everybody. I'm gonna be like, yo, these these are some some rhyme fests. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. So it's a dip, you know, to me, I feel like uh, that those are two different things. I feel like, but I feel like a lot of celebrities, like I just saw an Instagram uh, post of Quavo holding up a stack of money and and it's in a car. And it's like, you know, there's people that, I mean, once again, I know these celebrities are, you know, they're donating their money in whatever ways. And I can't, you can't judge or tell anyone how to, you know, post their shit. But, you know, I think celebrities have to realize that, yo, like now is not the time to, play that role of I'm getting money when everyone is like really wondering okay where I'm gonna eat 18 million people out say jobs yeah 18 million that's a lot yeah a lot lot, you know but the but the sneaker like like I said those stimulus checks came in this week and motherfuckers is spending them shits because Rob I know you saying things that stand still but I've been doing some I've been doing a little research things are still moving man things are that were that were st- uh, steady and stagnant or have now risen, man, especially dunks, man. Plums have gone up. Uh, the college pack, the Kentuckys, the Syracuse, even the, uh, the Stussy uh, collab that came out, uh, those shits are, are, are going up. Things that people are still spending money, uh, mm. you know, which also makes me think, I mean, also, you know, the, the streetwear uh, industry is also funded uh, a lot by younger kids who uh who really don't have you know if you're 19 you know you really don't have pretty much a care in the world really because you probably if you live at home with your parents you know you're still you know you don't have to pay rent so i think that's that's an interesting thing to see that the streetwear industry is really like like i said if you look at StockX and go things are doing numbers yeah Yeah. but also they shut it down for a little while so that that's also the byproduct of like 
for a while, StockX was like, yo, we not, you know, we got to take a break. We shut everything down. And now they kind of like starting to do stuff again. So, yeah, but they I also just added a 3% increase on buyers. That's true. Like, there's another, that. you have to pay, they take even more now. On um, bids after what Wednesday? Yeah, I believe so. The twenty second, yeah, so. if I'm correct, or you the like bids that. in now. If you gonna if you gonna bid, bid before they add that tax. Well, I think that's I think that's also what's causing a lot of people to start like panic buying because you look at I mean three percent may seem small, but if you're paying you know five hundred dollars on a on a pair of shoes, I mean that's an additional what uh, twenty dollars, basically twenty like you know you I mean. Mm-hmm. It, it, it really, you know, when you break it down, it, it adds up. I mean, you buy a pair of sneakers for 700 What is that? That's 70 is 10%. I mean, half of that is 35 I mean, so you're paying an extra 30 plus dollars. No, I mean, that's a lot of money. For what? But what it is, is I feel like I feel like a lot of people realize that these businesses are doing so bad right now that they're coming up with ways to fuck the consumer on a whole different level. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or it's yeah. probably costs, you know what I'm saying? They got shipping costs. The like all the you know FedEx workers, the UPS people, they they overwork. They going through it. They were like, this is worse than Christmas. This is worse than the busiest time that they are normally prepared for. In the mm-hmm. in you know a time where they probably normally go on vacation, time where they normally you know it's not as lax. So I mean mm-hmm. not as you know intense. So yeah, I mean and no telling. When those prices go up, they can't just immediately, they have to catch those things ahead of time, or else there's going to mm-hmm. be no stock X. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that is true. I think stock, stock X was, I mean, remember it, when it came out, I mean, people weren't, you weren't paying tax on sneakers. So if you bid, you know, $300, you, you were paying basically $300 plus the $13 uh, stock X fee, and that was it. But when you start adding tax, you start adding a 3% fee. You start adding the thir- the the verification fourteen dollar cost. You know now a uh, pair of sneakers that you were like, oh, this is two fifty. Now this shit is three twenty. Yeah. So it uh it definitely is making and, and eBay put out a uh, interesting. Uh, their you know customers <laughs> they they put out a uh, you know we don't charge a fee or some shit like that. It was so. Ebay is the OG. I fuck with eBay heavy after that. They were just like, yo, fuck y'all. We're doing this shit regularly. I don't give a fuck. I like that. I, never, I like that. I never left. Never left eBay. <clears throat> like, I still I still be on eBay. I still be finding little, you know, hunting, finding little stuff. Yeah, you find some treasures on eBay. Mm-hmm. The uh the the ice creams I had on uh on Corden, I got those mm-hmm. on eBay. Oh, really? Yeah. Nice. That was like a like a pair I've been looking for since I don't even know oh four mm-hmm. three you know what I'm saying like I've been lo- I've been looking and then one day I seen them ship immediately you know what I'm saying wasn't like it was back in oh four when you you used to have to get a money order and then send that and then wait two weeks you know what I'm saying like mm-hmm, got that thing mm-hmm. in like five days. Yeah. yeah, it's kind of weird to think about like how the the platform is now back to when like we were first buying sneakers off eBay and shit. The weird shit we had to do and the trust man. we had to put in somebody compared to now. Because now man, we don't even trust the. Complaint. Yeah, now like StockX is selling fake shit and they know it, and they're not even trying to deny it, but they put the verified on there. Before we would have to like hopefully this guy you know sneaker head uh, nine twenty. Is an honest guy, and hopefully he would just send it out. I never saw a space or nothing. Come on, right. man. You know how hard it, is, how stressful it is to file a complaint with eBay when you know you lying about your age. <laughs> <laughs> like you supposed to be eighteen. You know what I'm saying? You trying to send the most professional e- like email you ever sent. I remember I was like thirteen on eBay trying to get Dragon Ball Z action figures, and somebody stole. <laughs> Stole about like fifteen dollars from me, so I'm trying to like send PayPal to email and whatnot. Come on, man. I used to do that all the time. Yu-Gi-Oh nah, cards. I don't even think they have PayPal yet. I was, yeah, you know, I was just straight talking to eBay. No, they have I mean, PayPal. I, I, I paid. Have I PayPal. paid on eBay. I had no credit card. Ah. I, uh, I paid for stuff on eBay with a fucking money order, y'all. So it's like you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's why I used to have to do. Years. I used to go to the post office, buy a money order. 
Send mm-hmm. it. Mm-hmm. Yo, Rob, is there like a mom and pop shop that you'd always used to go to in uh, Atlanta? Um, nah, oh man, they close standard. Standard on Peach Street, yeah. That was that was my spot. That was uh, they they there was only two places in Atlanta that had a BBC uh ice cream account. Um, there was like the like one of maybe three stores in Atlanta got the Yeezy ones. Like there was you know like there yeah. was only there was only a few places in Atlanta that just got everything official. Standard was one of. I just asked because, you know, we've been trying to figure out what mom and pops are going to do um, during this whole thing. And then, uh, you know, there was speculation last week that round two was going to give all their shit to Grailed. Um, and it seems like... Uh, it's speculation? It's, yeah. Well, we, they didn't, like, say it last week. They weren't like, yo, we're doing this. They just had that elusive meme uh, picture that they were joining up. But now they made it official. Well, mm. yeah, because, well, they put, I mean, they put some of their stuff on, on Grailed. Some of their yeah, clothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chris was like, "Yo, round two at Grail, it's a wrap." It's official, and I was <laughs> it's like, round two at Vintage with Grail, because that's gonna make me sad. They're just I taking a lot of the inventory they had in the store and putting it on Grail. Yeah, but the the round two store and the round two Vintage store are totally different. They didn't really specify. They just said round two is teaming up with, like, you know, they didn't really say like what specifically they were gonna have. But mm-hmm. I'm sure some of the vintage stuff will go on there. I'm sure it will. They put some of their stuff on there on online already. Um, but I think it's it's well, something that uh, got to go down. Well, I think it's something round two had to do because, you know, they were. I mean, they they're brick and mortar. Like everything is, you know, everything was at a standstill for them. So even now, like you go on their Instagram and they're like, "When we reopen, we're gonna have so much stuff for you." But it's like, ah, when is it? When is that? You know, yeah. And then also, how many people can be in the store at one time? There you go. That's too. another, That's thing, another thing. thing. Also, you know what I'm saying? Like, I how how is that gonna be? When you walk in, you're gonna be able to like look through stuff, or you know, you're gonna be able to touch stuff. Yeah, or is it all gonna be, be like, virtual? All right, yeah, is everything gonna be in plastic? Oh yeah, that'd be kind of crazy if the hoodie you wanted to look at was like in the dry cleaner plastic type shit. Oh. Yeah, that'd be tough. I didn't even think about that. Uh And they got to deal with people coming in. They touching stuff that they don't buy. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They got to deal with people coming in with a bag full of stuff. They don't know where it came from. They don't know what's going on. Man, that's that's uh, round two might be almost impossible. Mm. I think a a lot of stores, a lot of stores might be impossible. You look at like the model of even like a flight club. Like when, when, when it, a lot of people come, you know, they're packed to the brim. People are trying on sneakers. You, know, you got, you know, once again, I mean, but a lot of it is tourist driven too. So are tourists coming to New York City? Are tourists coming to LA? Like, we got to look at that too. Like, how will that mm-hmm. affect it? Mm-hmm. I think the future obviously is some sort of online capability because when you, like all these mom and pop, well, all, all these brick and mortar stores have been shut down. And boom, everything is like, go online. Let's just push it online. So, yeah. I don't know. Immediately, people was like, all right, 25% off, 15% off. Immediately. Like, like, that was the first thing. Yeah. Yo, you're going to take a lot more than 15% off for me to buy some clothes. Come on, man. Mm-hmm. You People are not going to be buying stuff till they need it. Um, speaking of needs... Which, uh, just to keep it moving forward here, tomorrow is 420. Right. Mm-hmm. 420 dunks come out tomorrow. Now, Luke, this was a need for you. I wanted them. I wanted them real bad. I don't Did know you if I'm able up to get on them. I don't know, man. I don't know what's happening with them. I'm not seeing them anywhere. Uh, well, let's see. The rumor is it's the friends and family because they're individually numbered. Uh, yeah. So far, we've seen two numbers. We've seen one out of 420 and then I believe 378 out of 420. Has been oh. uh, has been put online. Um, so we're in, interested to see, you know, what type of release this is. Uh, also, the the strawberry coughs, you know, do they ever come out, or are they just going to get pushed back a year? What's going to happen? Uh, from what I heard, the strawberry coughs were releasing on a different day. I don't remember uh, what exactly 
They said because they said it was going to be delayed. Here, mm-hmm. Rob, have you seen these? No, I um, me being the the person who named Hayes, I, I really was looking at them them purple skunks. Yeah, <laughs> the purple, the, the purple nice. those, those look hard too. I mean, I I remember the original skunks. I remember I had like no no real opportunity to get them. Yeah, when they came out, I was in Athens, and like the closest store to have them was Stratosphere in uh, Atlanta, and. Yeah, they were sold out before I woke up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the, all, the, all the regulars at all the local skate shops by me were like, they, they, had, they got all their pairs already. Like, there was no way to get if you were not a casual there. You know? are, them, are them Grateful Dead still going to happen? Or uh, fighting on like two or three of them things? I didn't see any reports of them being delayed, but I also didn't see any reports of them definitely coming out. So I don't really know how to answer that. But yeah. we talked about them. Those those are one of the cooler collabs that I've mm-hmm. seen in the for this year, mm-hmm. for sure. I just it would be a good replacement for baby bears. Like I'm, I don't, That's baby what I was bears, thinking. Yeah, baby bears are like another pair of shoes where I'm like, I love those shoes, but I don't know where when I would be able to wear them. The more I look at them, mm-hmm. you know. But there would be a nice pair to own. So yeah. I mean, we got um, we got a a four twenty uh, tomorrow, Monday, uh, April twentieth. No sign of a release. Mm-hmm. Uh, if they do release, uh, obviously, if there's only four hundred and twenty pairs, or you know, then obviously <laughs> this is not going to happen for anyone, really. Nope. LeBron, LeBron gonna get his. Yeah. <laughs> oh well, I mean, Travis yeah, Scott will get, get his. Seated. Yeah, Travis Scott will get his. We can probably name all 420 people. <laughs> <laughs> we can't. Oh, yeah. we, we probably could. There's a there's a list that we could make that we, mm-hmm. probably close to actually what's going to happen. Mm-hmm. Cheech and Chong. <laughs> Cheech and Chong. Yeah, they know, only get one pay. One know. okay. All one right. shoe each. <laughs> okay, I can see that. <laughs> oh, that's very really funny. So um, we got Luke. that. So that's that's. Uh-huh. Go ahead. No, I was just keep going to Luke because Luke had a lot of wants this week. Yeah. So you wanted those 420 dunks, and then you also wanted these uh, Kith Sailor Moon joints. Yeah. Now, the Kith Sailor Moon joints, uh, it's not really for me. It's just why I have the suit on today. I've been very busy today uh, with my new business. Uh, I am trying to open up a new LLC. It is called uh, – give me one second. I should have prepared this better. Oh, you can't see it. All right. Well, this – ABG <laughs> Hunters – yeah, it just says go. hunters, but it's supposed to be ABG hunters. It's an international uh, website where we help you hunt down ABGs. What are ABGs, Rob? Those are Asian baby girls. You know the type. Oh, okay. <laughs> How old? Uh, <laughs> adult, adult age. Adult age. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, Asian baby girls are the girls that go to like raves and stuff. They're okay. always hanging out with with their with their girl pals. Yeah, everybody wants a. Everybody wants one. Look at them; they're great. Okay. Now, mm-hmm. now this new Kith collection has been a, a lot on my mind because there's a lot of a lot of people trying to move in on this merchandise. All right, we've got uh, we've got the, the Yellow Fever people. We've got those people coming in. We've got the Asians coming in. We've got uh, the Black Nerd community coming in, and it's all diverging into one spot. And me, mm. as the Asian baby girl hunter. It's my job to kind of make sure that everybody gets what they want, you know? What, where you yeah. take your girl out? For yakisoba? I, I got a place. So uh, I'm asking for a small donation of $500,000 for 3%. What, what do we think, guys? Uh, I'm out. Okay, yeah, but I'm why? Not, I'm not interested. Yeah, yeah you, ain't gotta, you ain't gotta answer no questions if you out. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Once you out, you out. I'm out. I was out. At, at, <laughs> I, I've been out. <laughs> yeah, I was out too, dog. I'm sorry, that's a no for me. Yeah. This is we awful. Started at five hundred dollars. We're all out. It would have been out. This Wait, is yo, awful. We got less than a minute on this one recording, so it's this is gonna go out in a second, and then uh, once the video converts, I'm gonna send it, invite all back, and then we'll kind of just do like one more topic and then wrap it up. I don't like Sailor Moon. <laughs> 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 all right. Uh, oh. <laughs> man, Luke really shot down there. 
I've Yo, never. Hey, it's about to time out. You know what I'm saying? It's, gotta, it's gotta less be than a minute left. I've I've never been in this situation before. Everyone loves Sailor Moon. She's got the nice dress and the the colorful combinations and transformations. Everybody loves it. You got you can pick your oh. best girl. Just pick one. So you gonna come back after this or what? I don't I don't know, man. I don't know, man. Jesus Christ. Oh, shit. You think Ronnie oh. Pye watches some Sailor Moon? <laughs> nah, dog. He ain't never watched one episode of that shit. Because I don't think he watched Power Rangers either. I was like, oh, Kith and Power Rangers, they really... No. But I got it because they, they sell cereal. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So maybe that's it. Mm-hmm. They sell cereal and then they do collabs with cartoons. I'm Didn't they do a old. Sesame Street one too, Kith? All right, and we back. We're back. Mm-hmm. We back in here. Um, I have to come so up just, with a new business strategy. Yeah, the, your version of Shark Tank. I don't know what the fuck that was. Hype Tank. It was terrible. <laughs> um, this shit was bad. Uh, but another exciting thing that's going on is these triple black fear of gods, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. What did you say they were just at StockX? We are at nine hundred uh, at the lowest ask for size nine and 660 for the highest bid at size nine at those sample sizes Mm. everybody else's sizes seem to be around the 600 range 700 somewhere around there i think one of two things are going to happen i know and this is going to i'm going to sound like magic johnson here (laughs) either they're going to come out and the price is going to increase or they're gonna come out and the price is gonna decrease. <laughs> hey. Hey, what an analysis! Boy. Wow, if they stay the same. You're gonna look so dumb. <laughs> <laughs> that that is my Magic Johnson impersonation. That is it's just in from Lawrence it. Deloach, Everybody, prices will move some <laughs> way. They will move. Hey man, I was I so a- excited about the first Fear Guys when they came out. Like I, I did podcast i was super excited about them i did not win them i got the raids mm-hmm. once the raids got dirty i hated them things yeah, yeah. and mm-hmm. i feel like i don't know if i'm as excited about these yeah these will get dirty very easily no they black. Know, black on black it's they black. easily you, what, what what color do you have for the raids <clears throat> The black with the white bottom, but the white bottom once it got dirty. It was exactly. Dirty. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. These are no. You're right. These will get too black dirty. Bottom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, those white bottoms. They're killer. They'll they'll go. They'll start to yellow real quick. I mean, I, I feel I, like this the the fear of gods in general, like all of them. Not saying like these wands, the mocks, or the whatever. I feel like those are just shoes that when you get them dirty, they just look bad. All of them. Yeah, he didn't yeah. pick the right colors to get dirty. He didn't. Um, the shoes themselves look worse when they're dirty. Like it's only clean and new. They really have the best because there's some shoes that get beat up, and you're like, oh, those are still nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, they they from the future, so it looked yeah. like from the you know like from a sad future when you got them. Um, <laughs> when you gotta live indoors want, all the time, you look like you from the new like future, new <laughs> technology. You know what I'm saying? Like you don't want to yeah. like. Oh, man, like he broke in the future. <laughs> <laughs> so That's true. I, this ship don't got no air. Uh, a lot of people were excited about that. I mean, people are still excited because, I mean, anytime you get a, a all black based shoe, you know, people definitely, uh, they kind of go, but these definitely have a boring uh, feel to them. A lot of people wanted the blue uh, air bubble that were supposedly originally, that was rumored to be on the shoe. Yeah, uh, I just feel like I feel like a combination of a few things is gonna you know make people make the shoe hard to get this week. Uh, one, people got their stimulus checks. Two, mm-hmm. um, I feel like uh, it's an all black fear of God shoe. And three, everyone's home. That's so true. When everyone's home, you know you're gonna have people like when there's no uh, way to get them in a the store. You know this is uh, this is what happens, man. Yeah, man. You think the people that make bots are affected by what's going on, or you think they good? They probably good, right? They can work from home. I kind of feel like they're kind of having a rough time, because I feel like people got so much time on their hands now. They're like, oh, let me see if I can get a bot. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Like, everybody home, 
if you're nerdy enough to like know how bots work, you'd be like, all right, now I'll get a bot. I didn't have time before. But you know, since since the whole uh, since the whole COVID uh, nineteen uh, pandemic happened in the U.S., there hasn't been really a lot of releases that you know have been really hyped up. I mean, now yeah. we're starting to get to the yeah. we're starting to get into the bulk of things like you know, Fear of Gods, and you know, if these four twenty dunks come out uh, tomorrow. But I mean, we really have we had what a, a pair of uh, purple Air Jordan ones. We had what the Stussy. Uh, yeah. Spirit, uh, Spirit, Spiritons, uh, we've had, you know, so we haven't had much, maybe a couple, a easy drop here and there, but I think this is the first sneaker that a lot of people are going to be, like, gunning for hard, so. Yeah. We will see. Uh, we will yeah, see. you might be right, man. And you know what, actually, because I, I don't want to not mention it. Um, just because you just reminded me because you said Yeezy. Kanye said it, that Nike can retro the, his old Yeezys. Mm. He was like, I don't care if if they want him, do it. I don't think they will. Yeah. I don't think they will either, but it was... Especially if he's cool with it. I almost wanted to say that he's not cool with it, so they do it just to spite him. Mm -hmm. He said they treat their employees like slaves. You think they're going to listen to him? They ain't listening to him? Mm -mm. Yeah. It's true. Yeah. I don't see see that happening unless they did it, you know, obviously – under the guise of they can't obviously they can't use the Nike easy name, yeah. but uh, I I just think that relationship is uh is over, man. I think you know we're not gonna see the retro version of that shoe. I think that's one of those shoes that I mean obviously you can never say never because you know mags have been released and so many different things have seen the light of day. But you know Easy One and Easy Twos the way they were released in in that time you know that era two thousand nine two thousand twelve. I just don't see it, man. New regime, new CEO. I see it happening. You know what I'm saying? Ooh. Just like, just like Gentry, when he was at Jordan, he was like, you know, in order to uh, respect the people who got the original Nike Air release, who won't put Nike Air on the back of the shoe, and then mm-hmm. Gentry's out. You know what I'm saying? And then somebody else comes <clears throat> in. Boom! We get Nike Air on things that don't even need them. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, it's true. <laughs> And now I got swooshes on threes. <laughs> <laughs> swooshes so, on threes. So I think I think you know like Mark Parker, he had to deal with yay, not gonna happen. But you know anybody who like came up our generation who gets in that position, they gonna make it happen. I think I think I think we'll see it in our lifetime. I don't think we'll see it anytime soon. Mm-hmm. That's yeah, fair. Actually, yeah, I, I, yeah, I, I kind of can agree with that. I don't know. I'm more on the fence that still won't happen, but I just didn't want to not mention it because it was kind of crazy. I just saw a headline that said, "Like, yeah, Kanye says Nike can." Re-. I was like, "Oh shit! All right." Mm-hmm. Remember, those, go ahead. Yay, yay! They had a petition. They had make the mags happen. They signed a petition in 2008. The mags came out in 11, then officially came out 2015. 15, yeah. That mm-hmm. movie came out in '89. So uh, that generation were kids when Back to the Future happened. Yeah. So it's going to be whoever are the kids, like whoever are just now in college, like the kids now, whoever are the mm-hmm. teenagers now who never had a chance to get the easy ones, the easy twos, they're going to be the ones to get the retro. Yeah. Yep. We're going to be, we're going to be the old heads. It's like by that time. He's kind of the old heads now because, like, when – because they just did those, like, Red October Kyries. I saw comments and threads going, like, yo, that's the fake shit. Like, yo, fuck anyone who wears these. But the young kids going nuts. I mean, well, no, they, hoop, they were a hoopable version, though. Like, mm-hmm. you you was not going to hoop in the Red Octobers unless you was, you know, about to lose the finals. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> did you guys see That's the true. you guys saw the new 2k pair of shoes right the new 2k exclusive? oh yeah they have another oh, pair yeah. of shoes that you have to play a video game for i forgot about that these guys oh, these are wow. like, yeah these are like home lakers jersey i last week i said i was like i don't think they're gonna make one that i'll like these don't look bad no, oh no bad. i these hurt because it's like if they were, if the playoffs were happening, I would, I would get them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
You know what I'm saying? Like these hurt because I all I've been asking for this whole time is like LeBron to put out Lakers colors, and then mm-hmm. it's like mm-hmm. I I like really like that. That's like the Sunday best when they wear the white jersey. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. No, it's really clean. Colorway, but well, speaking of uh, basketball jerseys and and LeBron and LeBron uh, obviously. Uh, just like everyone else, he uh, he he wanted the 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 last uh, dance Chicago Bulls documentary to come uh, early. Uh, it was supposed to come out in June uh, after the NBA Finals, and uh, due to the pandemic, ESPN listened. And uh, tonight, April nineteenth, we get uh, the first two episodes of the last dance with the Chicago Bulls. Uh, you guys excited? What's up? Talk to me. No, yeah, I'm bro. super excited, man. I mean, because, like, even before off mic, me and Rob were talking about, like, footage we've never seen before coming out and all that shit. And I'm just interested to see the light that they're going to paint Jordan in because Jordan himself said a lot of people are going to think he's a scumbag after this. Because <clears throat> mm-hmm. he's going to talk about different areas that, like, we haven't seen. <laughs> well, Rob, what do you got, Rob? What do you got? I already think that he's a scumbag. Like, when, when did this come? Who? Does he think younger we kids think don't know? Younger kids don't know about the gambling mm-hmm. shit, the shit with his dad. They don't know why he went man, to the MLB. Be, they don't know shit. Like a bitch with Chameleonaire, man. Come on, dog. <laughs> I, yeah, I was wondering if Chameleonaire was gonna watch it Come tonight, on, man. man. Come on, he's not a scumbag. He went in in other people's locker rooms and told him, "I'm gonna put up forty on y'all." Um. He was mad at Reggie Theus for being drafted over him. What did Reggie Theus do other than hang time? <laughs> I, we know this stuff, but the general yeah. public does not know this. Stuff. I don't think that's true. They got that. We got the fuck them kids meme. Come on, man. Yeah, the but they buy shoes I'm, too. Like my mom doesn't know about this shit. You know what I mean? Like, and the, yeah. people like my mom are going to be watching. Like, yes, we will be watching, but because there's nothing on Sports Center, there's no sports being played. Everyone's going to watch this shit, and everyone's going to go like, "Oh, damn! I didn't know he was like that." Yeah, I man, think, he's yes. a monster. I think that's what a lot of people will see. That I think they will see what it takes to be the greatest ever. You have to be kind of, you have to be a psychopath. You have to be wired differently. And I also feel like Michael Jordan came up in an era where obviously there was no social media. So a lot of the things that, you know, probably would have, you know, been exposed in 1992, we never, we never really heard about it. And now, or not, we, we didn't hear about it, but the, the masses didn't hear about it. Some people, of yeah. course, they know some of the stories. Him calling Muggsy Bogues a fucking midget, you know, all that, <laughs> those little things. And you know how Jeff Van Gundy called him a con artist, how he would befriend players and, you know, and then fucking take advantage. Like, we, like, some of us know those things, but not everyone really oh, knows that. So, um, you know, I'm, him, a, I'm, hmm? I'm a real Jordan fan, man. You know what I'm saying? Watch, come, come fly with me. Watch Michael Jordan's Playground, you know, Sports Century, Space mm-hmm. Jam, read the Jordan Rules, read Best Seat in the House by Spike Lee. Like, man, like, come on. I knew he was about to sign with the Knicks if if the, if the Bulls didn't give him the max. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, mm-hmm. I'm ready to see some stuff I ain't never seen before. Because, like, no, that, I... that ad they did for March Madness where they showed Dennis Rodman playing in college, Dennis mm-hmm. Rodman played D3 in the 80s. We ain't never seen no footage of Dennis Rodman playing in college. And I don't, yeah. I don't watch <clears throat> everything about the Bulls. I don't watch Fox Sports and ESPN. Mm-hmm. Like, HBO, all that. You know what I'm saying? I ain't, I ain't never seen that footage. Like, they have footage of Steve Kerr in college. They, they going to go back. They going to they gonna hit everything. They, they got 10 hours. We going to see when, they, when the samurai sword almost cut. Michael Jordan and chopped him in half. <laughs> Y'all know about that missing. story? They cut a watermelon on top of him, but then the, the sword went through the watermelon and, you know what I'm saying, cut him in the stomach. He almost died at a match. Yeah. <laughs> I did not know that. <laughs> yeah, know man. That. It's going to be a ones colorway watch. <laughs> they make everything that's ever happened in his life a, a colorway of a one watch. They're going to have the, the, cut, the, chop water, the samurai watermelon one. <laughs> <That's hilarious. laughs> it's so funny how every moment could be a sneaker. Yeah. No, well, we, it can't. We, no, <laughs> no, it can't. They got to <laughs> chill. They got to chill. Okay. Um, it, it's just just the bread ones 
and the Chicago one. We don't need all these other ones. All this, oh, what if we put the red here? No, nah, we live 30 years without the red right here. Don't do that. What y'all doing with this new pack? Oh, here's the airship. We don't need those. We Come on, you had to squint to even know those was in Jordan 1. We don't need those. <laughs> I like the ships, though. The ships are nice. The ships would have been cool if they made them all the way like they originally made them. They put a one bottom and put some some extra rivets on a one <laughs> and then called it a ship. That's not that's not that's nah, not a yeah. ship. Come on, man. We not well, done. We got Google now, baby. <laughs> listen, guys. We are we are less than fifty minutes away from something that I guarantee you will probably be probably the highest rated uh most watched event probably in the history or one of them uh, i'm really excited for it and uh we get to see probably I, I think this they said this is the last interview uh kobe bryant ever recorded yeah so uh you know that's also that's going to be very surreal watching you know kobe and um but i'm like i said i'm, I'm really looking forward to it i mean as a kid growing up in brooklyn and in, in the 90s or whatever we saw the knicks and the bulls and the rivalry and we saw how we see how Jordan is still looked at to this day, and um, yeah, it's, I'm excited. Yeah, I'm excited too. I think everyone in here is excited. Yes. Mm-hmm. Let's get it going. Um, yeah, so I think we can call this one. Um, any closing thoughts, guys? Luke, what do you got? Um, I'll come up with a new business next week. I'm gonna keep pitching okay. you guys. I'm very excited for Hype Tank. We're we're gonna be business partners, all of us. Rob, I'm gonna get you involved too at some point. Hey, my, my fault. I I didn't know what was going on. I That's okay. <laughs> no one did. Yeah, no one did. Us did. An extreme amount of money in a business that I really didn't understand how it was going to mm-hmm. make money. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> business, mm-hmm. being a business. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, I just want to say no disrespect to the the royal ones and the shadow ones and the metallic ones because those are. <laughs> Existed in 1985, 86, and whatnot. But you I know was what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah, but uh, other than that, we we good. Stop putting purple on stuff. <laughs> Jordan didn't play for no purple team. <laughs> when he played in Italy and shattered the backboard, his shoes didn't match. You know what I'm saying? Y'all trying to make a match after the fact. He had on orange uniforms in Italy. Nobody after was bothered. Match? No one said nothing to him. <laughs> that man had enough juice to not match. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the playoff eights got got purple in them, and that's the only purple we need. I <laughs> play. You know what I'm saying? Tinker knew what he was doing. <laughs> uh, Lawrence, what do you got, buddy? Uh, nothing much, man. Just you know, everyone. I hope everyone's staying safe. You know, and um, and and hopefully we can get back to some sort of normalcy uh one day and that's it yep all right cool um at lzd325 at trevisus at not that Cheney, at rob hayes at sub podcast nyc uh we got email we got a google voice number you could uh fucking text um the discord hop on the discord discord's popping rob you want to join the discord i don't know what that means but yeah <laughs> all right i'll send you a link and tell you what to do also um, uh if you're watching this live uh when this comes out Tuesday, Chris is running a uh, Super Smash Brothers tournament. Oh, watch yeah. His, I'm going to run a Smash live. tournament with all the New York City comics that play just because uh, I want to do something comedy related during this pandemic. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. So a bunch mm-hmm. of people in there going to Luke going to play. We'll come on. We're but, um, yeah. So I'll, I'm going to stream it if you guys want to watch my Twitch. Not that Cheney. Um, do something. I don't know. Anything to keep me occupied during this shit, because sometimes it's real slow. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But, um, all right, guys, that's it. Thanks, Rob, for coming through. Of course, the guys, you know, we hear every week. Um, so we'll talk to you guys next Monday, all right? All right, all right y'all. Peace. All right, peace, y'all. Peace, y'all. Peace, y'all.